I'll tell you a story. I've never shared this story anywhere. Let me tell you what changed me. I'm still being changed. I'm not fully changed. So the change is still... Yes. But what... If you are sensitive, you will notice I don't talk like before. I don't act like before. I'll tell you what changed me. I came back from a program in, um, with Pastor Benny Hinn. I came from that program. And there's a man of God who lives like an hour from this place. He died. He had a church that was less than 1,000 people. And this man of God is so, he believes so much in chastity, in piety, in purity. He, he, he doesn't believe in Facebook because if Facebook is a sin. YouTube, sin. Twitter, sin. So his ministry is not in any of these things. And this man was somebody who believed so much. When I want to, when I want to be on track, I'll just call him. By the time I start talking, eh? I, I, I see myself on track. He's that kind of person. So, he died. I forgot. So I came from America then. And I was told that the man, it was his burial the next day. And I look at the time. Before I would call the security, call everybody to come, I might lose 30 minutes or 45 minutes. I took the key. I drove alone to that place. When I got there, I saw people and all of that. And all of them sat down. Some canopies, some clergy were there. So I sat down. They, in fact, they, 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 they greet, I greeted them, they greeted me. They said, hey, welcome. They were waiting for me, but they passed me. Because they didn't expect I would come alone. So they just greeted me, I greeted them, and I passed. I was there, they said, as I supposed to come, as I supposed to come, I was sitting down. So I heard, and I liked, I liked that because I had my, my Bible. And I was excited because as far as I'm concerned, in fact, I could see him from heaven looking at us. So I was excited. I wasn't crying. The wife was crying. People were crying. I said, why are they crying? Number one, this man was old. Number two, he has gone to heaven. So I was wondering, why are they crying? And the Lord said to me, he is not in heaven. He is not in heaven. He says, not with me in heaven. I was worried. I was uncomfortable. I started sweating. So I left my Bible. I walked into my car. For one of them turned to me, yeah, you, where are you going? I said, I'm going to my car. It was only one who identified. Yeah, what the supposed to be this? Wait, oh. I said, I'm the one. Just wait, I'm coming. I entered the car. I sat down. And the Lord said, he is not with me in heaven. I was worried. The Lord said, ask the wife what happened before he died. So, I said, they should call the wife. The wife came. So, now you are here. Your friend is gone. Oh, your friend is gone. Oh. I said, let me calm down. The Lord just told me, it's not with him in heaven. He said, no, that's why I'm crying. Oh. You know? Mommy, sit down. Please, I'm interested in that last what happened? See what he left behind. I said, but me leave what he left behind. What happened? And told me that certain boys in the church broke out of the church. They did a lot of things and the man vowed that he will never forgive them. That was all. That was all. He, he, even when they came to apologize, he said, no, he will never. That was all. Because of that, he didn't enter heaven. I told myself, now, whatever I'm saying about this encounter, any preacher can come out and rubbish it, no problem. Encounters are personal. Encounters are, you, it, it is spiritual illiteracy to rubbish a personal encounter. You didn't have it, I had it. So, what happened was, I went back. I took my Bible. I ministered, I drove back, I cried till I got to the house. When I got to the house, I said, if this man did not enter, me, <laughs> me that I will abuse, I will insult, I will, 
I said, ah, ah, ah. And I said, Lord, please. And the Lord said to me, follow me. Ignore these distractions. I said, tell me my own problem now. Not later. Oh. That somebody will now come, you now tell the person, is not. Eh, eh, tell me why I'm here. Because if you had asked the Lord, the Lord would have told him. And the Lord told me, say, you are distracted. I sent you to do my work, but you are getting things to distract you. This said this. That is doing that. This is doing that. Focus. He said, that is your own problem. I said, thank you, sir. <laughs> From that day, I don't know what anybody is saying. I don't know what I'm telling you what chain people don't know. And I'm getting better. I'm not there yet. But I'm focused. I'm focused. Can you stand?